second welcome if you are new my name is Kimmy and in today's video I'm going to be decluttering and organizing my dishes up here I have a, a ton of cups there's just two of us and literally y'all this is hilarious let me know if you're the same we have these like tumblers I guess you could call them and this is all we use so maybe a coffee cup or two but other than that there's so many cups in here like this uh, we never use these so why are they here like someone else needs cups and i have them for them so that's what we're going to do today i'm going to go through all of these and i'm going to also go through my silverware and utensils and stuff like that because i have a ton of those too but i wanted to go ahead and read the comment of the day and it's going to trash bag love so i'm doing this for you i'm reading off your comment it says I always i love always your hair um ponytail or bun so thank you for your comment all of your comments i do see them i do appreciate your you taking the time to leave a comment so if you're new here anytime y'all leave comments on the videos in the next video I'll at least read one comment out loud I'm probably gonna start doing that just read one out loud because they take up a big chunk of time in the video if I read a lot so if I don't read your comment I am always in the comments down below I do respond to your comments and give you hearts to let you know that I see your comments and I see you and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. If you're new here and you like cleaning and organizing motivation, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video. It is completely free. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take out all of this from the top. I've already cleaned the room, so that would be my number one tip. Whatever room you're working in, make sure that room's already clean before you go and start to declutter and organize things. So this should be pretty easy now that we have clear counter space, we can really focus on just pulling everything down and organizing it. I would also just suggest that you have a box that you can go ahead and start putting things in to donate that you don't want anymore. That way it kind of clears out the clutter. So I'm gonna speed this up for y'all and add some music to it and I'm just gonna start pulling everything down and putting it in spots of whether I want to keep or if I want to donate. box number one and then also because this is glass I'm going to uh, wrap these individually and also put them in a box but I wanted to show y'all that I'm done and I ended up clearing out that whole entire top shelf except for 
um, that mixer right there. And then that, those are all just cans of dry goods, so those stay there. But all I have right here are coffee cups. Some of these are sentimental to me. Um, some of them were just holiday. But my sister-in-law got these two little green ones. They both have Aaron and I's name on them. These are just seasonal. And then I have three. One of them says grandmother and two of them say mother. And so I wanted to keep those. And then all four of those are from my mom. Erin refuses to let me get rid of cups like this. I think that's the last one we have. All the other ones broke. And then I just have a measuring cup and a, two of those tumblers. So that's it. I'm so excited. So now we're going to get into these. <laughs> which may be a little bit more time consuming, but that is what I'm going to do, especially this one. Y'all, I have to get me a container, like a cookie jar basically, to put my utensils in because it is driving me nuts to see it all like that. I know if we lived in a bigger home, I feel like I would need to be out going and buying more stuff, but because we live in a smaller home, I, feel like I always have to get rid of stuff because we just don't have that much space. Like three drawers in the kitchen. But I'm aware that there are people that have even less than that. So, gotta be grateful. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did with the cups. Just gonna pull all of that out, go through it, put things back where I want them to go. And you may see me leave out quite a bit of utensils for me to go get a jar. Take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me the bottom in the middle drawer I just need to do my knives and silverware now but this is what I have so far so there's some wine glasses and stuff down there that I just tried to bubble wrap really well but over here I think these came in like a FabFitFun box one time and I've never used them because we own metal straws already um, so I don't need a new set and because they're not open I thought that'd be great to donate someone would really enjoy that and it comes with this so and then I have just a lot of extra just gently used spatulas and stuff so I feel like the Goodwill would you know they could sell these like this I've never used this um, I don't like how it's open um, and then I've never used this so I figured We'll just get rid of those. I've also never used this. I think if I did parties and stuff at my house, I would use that 
for like cutting cakes and pies and stuff but I just I never do so all I have left is these and I left them out because they will go in I'm gonna buy me one of those cookie jar things then this just doesn't go in that drawer it goes in this one but right here that's as organized as I could get it and I think it looks really good so excited about that and then this one down here is just a bunch of knives again and then two things for the grill so next we're gonna be doing this one which it's not horrible I just have a ton of knives and I don't need this many knives so my plan is to go through these pick out the ones that I use and then also pick out the ones that go in my knife holder and just put them in the knife holder and get rid of all the other ones and I do know that Goodwill does take knives and I'll probably if I can I'll just keep them in this container um, and I'll just give the container away so last door to go through A couple hundred miles away Denying that something has changed You're blaming me too complicated But I will never stay the same So I will drive and drive and drive and drive Baby, just so I can make it through the night Yeah, I will drive and drive and drive and drive So we can try to make it simple Try to talk about put this in here y'all I went to pick this up and this fell straight through onto the floor right beside my foot you know what's funny what hit my foot was the bottom of it so thank you God for not having this knife <laughs> injure my poor foot because I would not have been able to finish filming this today <laughs> thank you so much for that okay so, as you can see, these are all the knives that are going to be donated. I'm going to go through that stuff over there and see what else I can donate. But, it just looks like a bunch of junk. Oh, well this, I can, for sure. Um, but the rest of it, I think, we'll keep. We don't really need two of these. And I have another one, but I feel like, I think Erin goes for this one more. Um, so, I'm going to donate this one and keep this one plus this one's a lot smaller too um i'm not a minimalist at all but i think i've said this in another video i have no attachment to things they can be replaced people can't so i just it's it's very easy for me to get rid of stuff so if you're watching this and you're like wow you're getting rid of so much stuff you know here today gone tomorrow that's how i look at everything so it's not necessary, you know, to have to hold on to things, especially if they're holding a spot in your mind. Like, oh man, I have so much stuff in that drawer. If we didn't have all that stuff in our drawer, then it wouldn't hold that space in our mind. And that would free up some space for something else that's more positive. Wish we knew, hey, I 
try to talk about what's on the mind. So this is what the top drawer looks like now and I'm gonna show you all real quick what it looked like before so I think we did our very best which is always what I mentioned to y'all just do your best that's all you can do and then drawer two this is the after and I'm gonna show you the before this is definitely the best drawer of all Do you still have about 10 kitchen utensils, cooking utensils put to the side, but we know that those are going to go on the counter in a cookie jar, so that's okay. Nothing else is going in there, which is awesome. And then the bottom didn't change <laughs> at all. It still looks exactly the same, but that's because that's the stuff that's in there is meant to be in there. And actually, I feel like this should go down here because of what it is so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and got some motivation out of it and this is the big box isn't it nice that we can reuse things so like this is my Bath and Body Works boxes that came and so I just emptied out everything in the box and filled it up with donations and I'm going to send it off to Goodwill so I'm pretty excited that we got this whole box is full of stuff and I tried to make sure that the cups and the lids went to the correct box. That way if for some reason they unpack these on different days then they know um, the cups that are in here have the lids that go with them. Same thing with that box over there that was a bunch of um, tumblers so I hope y'all enjoy this video let me know in the comments down below if you decided to organize alongside with me and if you like these videos and just remember to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you back here tomorrow we are going to be in the bathroom so we did under the sink organization but I have a put together like shelf that I have little boxes cardboard with a cloth on them you can just collapse them and stuff i have about six of those boxes in my bathroom on a shelf and they are extremely cluttered so that day tomorrow we're going to go through all of those and i'm actually pretty excited about it like i'm looking forward to it because it's just you know taking up space in my mind so it's time to declutter those things I feel like a really weird time to be decluttering everything because when it comes springtime I won't have anything to declutter but yeah getting all that done now before the new year starts so I hope y'all have a good day and I'll see you back here tomorrow bye